one of the biggest reasons that small businesses don't get where they want to go, they don't reach the end destination, is because they try to take on strategies that aren't suited to their type of business. In a lot of these uh, businesses, they, they're trying to run what should be two or three different businesses all under the same roof. In this video, I'm going to talk through what, what the four types of company are and how, when you know which type of business you, you're in, it can transform your business and literally accelerate you toward the end result. Reason we share these videos is because we're, we're passionate about helping smaller businesses compete against the corporate takeover of most industries. Customer convenience and access to capital means small businesses will mostly die out before the end of the decade if they don't adapt and start thinking about new ways of running the business. We work in partnership with seven and eight figure established businesses to, to create new product offerings and business models and then we position and package them up to com compete against their corporate rivals. We create and invest in alternative ways of doing things to, to create industry leading brands. Now, before we get into this video, this isn't going to be some kind of boring video about the, the legal structure of a business. Uh, if, you, if you want that type of information, go and talk to an accountant or a lawyer. This video is about using the most favorable business model for your type of business. And if you're not seeing my other video on how to find the perfect joint venture partner, go and watch that next because you'll understand what we're talking about in this video better then. So what are the four types of company and which of those types does your business fit into? Okay, so the first type is a product creation company. The second is an audience company. The third, a delivery company. And the fourth is an infrastructure company. Now, I'll get into each one in a minute, but first I don't want you to have some image of, of what each one is based on these labels. Each one is, is, is more than just the name. So you might have heard the story about McDonald's, the, the fast food chain, and you might think they're in the fast food business. Well, actually they're in the real estate business. Most of the company's revenue comes not from selling burgers, but from leasing the restaurants to each franchisee. And they now own more than $30 billion worth of real estate around the world. And the reason I'm telling you this is because you might think you're in one of these categories that we're, we're about to talk about, when actually, like McDonald's, you're in another. Now, the issue is, especially with small businesses, is we can sometimes get sucked in trying to do everything. We try to keep adding new customers. We try to create new products and service offerings. We try to be the best at everything. Or we try to own everything. And, and the problem by doing this is that there's only one of those strategies that is right for your type of business, which means that 80% of your efforts are going nowhere. Because first of all, it's diluting your focus from, from what you should be doing. And secondly, you're just not that good at those other things. Now, I've seen companies that try to be more than just one type of company. And each time they've, they've, they've ended up going uh, bankrupt, and there's a strong reason why that's happened. First of all, the amount of money it takes to be more than one type of company is out of reach for most businesses. The second reason is the, the lack of focus. They're, they're spreading the focus across too many areas. It's like trying to spin too many plates. And you might say there's examples of companies that do all of these types, but that isn't true. If you take Amazon, for example, you'll notice as we talk about the four types of company, that Amazon as a brand fits into all of these types. But actually, if you look deeper, each of Amazon's businesses are separate and each have their own management teams running them. But you can't say the same for the average small business. Amazon started out as, as just one type of company. And then over time, they've moved into the other three types of companies, which were things like TV streaming services or cloud software. But a lot of the various company types, Amazon actually acquired them. And they, they, they each have their own management teams and, and their own budgets. They, they each run as a standalone business. So let's look at the four types of company. The first one is what we call an audience company. Now, this type of company doesn't deliver any kind of product or service. They are basically more like a middleman between the buyer and the seller. It's their job to connect to a buyer with what they need. It's, it's basically a referral. So to give you an obvious example, an insurance broker or a finance broker, they aren't delivering you the insurance. They aren't giving you the money. They're just there to connect you with whatever it is that you want. The value in these types of companies is purely in their network. 
It's who they know, how many people they know, and what those people are buying, or what the what the buying power is. So the only strategy, apart from improving the sales and relationship skills, is they they have to keep growing the network. That's all that they should focus on every single day. Come up with multiple ways to grow the network. Build a relationship with everyone in that network to build trust and increase how much money each person spent. Now they can do that by uh, creating ways to add more value to their audience. In other words, adding more product offerings. And that's exactly how car showrooms work. They try and sell as many brands as possible, but as a car showroom, they didn't manufacture the car, they didn't design that car, and they don't provide car finance. All that they do is just sell it. So an insurance broker will add life insurance, medical insurance, vehicle insurance, business insurance, travel insurance. They're going to be the only place their customer needs to go if they want to buy any kind of insurance. Now, other examples apart from just brokerage businesses are networking groups, recruitment, uh, some retail shops, media broadcasters, basically anyone that owns a large audience of buyers, but they don't create or deliver anything themselves. So apart from growing the value of the network, the second strategy should be to work with a product creation company, which we'll come back to in a few minutes. So they have a stream of new products that add value to their audience. And all that they have to do is then sell it or make that referral. And then next is the delivery company. So what this type of company does is basically the hands-on delivery of whatever the customer is buying. And this is the largest of the, of the four types of company. This type of company makes up about 90% of all businesses in the market. It can be a manufacturing business. It can be a construction company. It can be any kind of service delivery business, such as an accountant or a lawyer. It could even be a hair and beauty salon. The important thing to remember is that this type of company is the one that delivers whatever the customer wants. And to be literal, that could even be a haulage company delivering physical packages. Now, one of the issues this type of company will sometimes have is they try to create new product or service offerings. So, so for example, a manufacturing company, they might employ a design team and try to design new products for manufacturing, which takes their focus away from what they should be doing and, and, and actually making that product. The thing a delivery company uh, or delivery type should be focused on is growing its capacity to deliver. So that means adding skill sets, adding new staff, adding production lines, being the best at what they do technically and making that delivery process as smooth and efficient as possible. It should also be uh, about adding systems and automation, which, which increase the capacity of that delivery process as well. The second focus should, should then be on working with a product creation company, which we'll talk about in a few minutes, but for them to design and create those new products or service offerings for the delivery company to then deliver. Now, the next type of company is the infrastructure company. And this type are those that provide the, the supporting infrastructure and systems that let the world operate day to day. So examples of this are software companies. They, they'll develop a piece of software that everyone needs to operate the business or another area of their life. Other types of infrastructure company are property investment companies. So, so they buy office buildings, for example, and then they rent them out to tenants. And the strength of this type of business is they have the resources to own the asset and then they provide it to the market at a cost which is much less than, the, than if the individual try, and try to own it themselves. So the office building might cost 10 million pounds to buy it, but the infrastructure company rents it out for a few thousand pounds a month, meaning those other three types of company, which are probably low on finance or financial assets, they, they, they can afford to base themselves in that building for a few thousand pounds a month. They don't have to find that 10 million to actually be able to use that building. So the infrastructure type has a couple of strategies that they should focus on. The first and most important is to focus on owning or controlling more assets. This is how they, they, they make money and without any assets, they don't have an income. The second strategy they need to focus on is working with a product creator to identify what the market wants and then create it. 
Now, the final type is the product creation company. This type of company is, is normally the one that comes up with new ideas and ways to innovate how businesses and industries operate, coming up with radical new designs or business models. This type of business is more about innovation, having a vision, and then making that vision come to life. But sometimes this type of company can, can get caught up in trying to deliver the product they, they've just created. And the truth is, whilst they're experts at designing things and coming up with radical new ideas, they're rubbish at delivering that product. So one example of a product creation company is a property developer. They create a vision for a building and then they use experts to, to deliver the finished building. And you shouldn't confuse that with an architect. An architect needs to be very technical and detailed. So they'd be a delivery company. The property developer would have a vision for the building, but they also pull together, pull together the financing for the project. They bring in the various contractors and they oversee the project through to seeing their vision come to life. The product creation company is about having a vision of how something should be. And then they put together the pieces to create that end vision. They pull together the finance, they find the customer, and they work with the technical specialist to deliver it. Another example of a product creation company is some of the car design firms like uh, Pininfarina. They, they, they've designed cars for firms like Ferrari. If you imagine a, a car is made up of, a th of thousands of different individual parts, and what the car designer does is package all of those parts together, and they'll package them inside this nice shell, which we call a car. So the strategy for a product creation company is to work with all three of the other company types because it's this type of company that pulls everything together and packages it up to create that end vision. And this is where we fit. We're, we're a product creation company. We come up with new business models and package them up ready, ready for the end customer to buy. But we work with the other three types of company to, to help us make that vision become a reality. But also by doing that, each of those other company types can grow their own business. So let's look at the insurance industry as an example so that you can see how this all fits together. And then we'll look specifically at your type of business. So the insurance industry as a whole is made up of the, the four types of company. You've got the main insurance provider. This is, this is the company that pays out when you make a claim. They're essentially a finance company. They, they take your monthly premium and they go and invest that money in the hope that they can grow that investment before you need to claim it back. So this type of company is the, the infrastructure company type. And then you've got the product creation type. Now, this type is generally not seen by the public, but what you do see are the, the various types of insurance product. So this company will create all of those different insurance products, whether it's car insurance, life insurance, boiler care insurance, etc. It's the product creation company that creates a product for the insurance company to invest into. Next is the audience company, and this type of, is, is generally the insurance broker. This is a personal business that owns a relationship with you, the customer. The best strategy for the insurance broker is to, to grow its pool of potential customers and then find more products that they can sell to that audience. And then finally, the fourth type of company is the delivery company. And in this example, the delivery company is a business that delivers something when you make that claim. So, for example, if you've got a boiler breakdown, uh, if you've got boiler breakdown insurance, it will be the company that, that comes out to fix your boiler. If you've got funeral care insurance, it will be the funeral director. If you've got car insurance, it will be the garage that repairs your car. So that's the insurance industry. So let's look at your type of business and see where you fit. So for the investment community, this, this includes lots of different types of businesses from, from an investor to a financial advisor. So the infrastructure company will normally be those businesses that control the capital. So that means that the best strategy for this type of company is to focus on increasing how much money they control and getting that invested into opportunities because that's how they make money. And to do that, it needs to work with the other three types, uh, which we'll go through now. So by working with the product creation type, it's this type that creates opportunities to invest in. The audience company connects them with individual or groups of investors, and the delivery company provides a hands-on management and support of those investments. 
Next, we look at the product creation company. And this is generally how each of the other types will increase the revenue streams by working with this type of company. So this type of business in this industry will normally be involved in creating what I'd call investment vehicles or investment opportunities. So that might be in creating a prop uh, property development. Or it might be something like a, an accelerator program to provide the investment companies with access to a, to a pool of opportunities that they can invest in. So, for example, if it's a property developer, they create a product. In this case, it might be a new hotel for the infrastructure company to invest in, for the audience company to sell, and for the delivery company to operate and manage. The best strategy for this type of company is to, to, to keep creating new products or opportunities for the infrastructure company to invest in. The next one is the delivery type. In this case, the, the, the delivery type will be consultants or support companies like lawyers and accountants that oversee those investments. In this case, the best strategy for this type of business should be to increase the number of offerings it can deliver. For example, if it's an accountant, they might offer financial due diligence as a, as a new product offering. But they'll work with a product creation company to create that new product. And finally, there's, there's the audience company. Now, this can be any type of person or business that makes referral to the investment product. So it might be a, an IFA. It might be some kind of investment platform or it might be an invest, investment bank. It's this company's responsibility to, to make a referral. And that's how they get paid. They don't physically deliver anything themselves. So the best strategy for, for the audience company in this case is to grow its pool of potential investors and then work with the product creation company to increase the, the amount of products it can sell to those investors. And one final way to think about which type of company you are is to think about where does most of your revenue come from? For a family office or an investment fund, it gets paid a return based on how much money it's invested. It doesn't get paid for going out talking to potential new investors. It's the job of the finance broker or the IFA or the investment bank to bring those, those new investors along. So that's it for this video. If you haven't seen my other video on how to find the perfect joint venture partner, then go and watch that next because a lot of what I've said in this video will make even more sense after you've seen that video.